Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. Today, I'm gonna to get you rotating your body like a pro through impact. Let's go and have a look at some more game-changing golf coaching. Hi everyone, and thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. Today I'm going to help you with a really quick drill that will give you a better feeling for what you're trying to achieve as you move through impact if you want to swing like a pro through impact. Uh, what you're going to need for this is an alignment pole or you could also use your six iron, okay? Um, six iron's good for the, for the length of it and what we want to do is we want to hold about two thirds of the club uh, to the ground so we'd want to be holding in this sort of area here if we're using the six iron okay if I just measure that on the alignment pole so I'm going to be holding approximately here with the alignment pole and if you're enjoying the video coaching please remember to hit the subscribe button and click notifications we release two videos every week and then you'll be alerted when we release them so you don't miss out on any of our game changer golf coaching so we'll go through this with the alignment pole first. Um, the big thing that you're gonna see uh, with professional golfers and uh, better ball strikers in general is as they move through impact, they're really rotating their body, okay? Um, so what we're looking at there is they're able to hold the spine angle in this sort of position and rotate the body around, creating good side bend, this way on so not standing up at all and straightening the right side out there's a good curvature in the right side because they're maintaining their posture height and they're rotating pelvis and chest towards the target and then delivering the club head into the ball and that's going to allow for a uh, really good shot power um, you'll be very um, fast with a club head speed through the ball if you do that because you're activating those bigger muscles in your body getting those working um, and those bigger muscles which you can then put the speed of your arms into after you've used them will give you maximum power and also you're not going to manipulate the club face so much with your hands so controlling the club face by rotating your body means you, you aren't coming in with that club face sort of aiming to the right of target as you're approaching the ball and then trying to use your hands to get it at the target but then it keeps going and it goes left of target so it leaves you with quite a small window of opportunity to hit the ball uh, accurately uh, and if we go for more of a body turn through impact then you're going to have that club face square to the target line for longer so you're going to be more accurate because you've got more opportunity to then connect with the ball so this takes away the need for you to make compensations through impact and it'll get so that the club head is moving a little bit more optimally towards impact so that you're not having to struggle as you go through now this is a really good drill to help you with that feel and that awareness so you take your alignment pole hold it as though it's your golf club and then what we're going to do going to swing up to the top we're going to drop the hands back down to in front of the right thigh just making sure we're pressuring slightly into that left side as we do that and then from here we're going to put the alignment pole onto the floor but on the outside of your right foot and then we're going to drag that alignment pole through impact along that target line and that will really help you get the feel of what a good impact position is going to be like. You'll get the hands forward as you do that, as you come in. So as you start to drag, you'll engage those bigger muscles in your torso because there's resistance uh, with the floor and that pole. So you'll engage those bigger muscles. You'll feel how your feet are interacting with the floor a little bit more where you're pressuring in your feet to help generate that turning and that twisting action into the knees, into the pelvis, and now rotating the chest through as you go through. And that'll get you into a really nice impact position here where you've got the hands forward of where the club head would be, hands in front of the left thigh, it's club heads striking the ball. So we've got some nice forward shaft lean here in the club, which will help us 
uh, to achieve a good compression on the ball. So you'll get the, the loft of the club, the angle of that club face, forcing the ball to spin up it, and then you'll hit out at a really strong trajectory rather than getting a real big balloon up in the air. When your hands are a bit more back, you add more loft onto that club face, and then you hit the ball that little bit higher. So it's gonna help us with power, it's gonna help us with an actual strike, and it's gonna help us with accuracy. So now if we go onto that six iron, we'll do exactly the same thing, take up a good athletic posture, make that back swing, pressure into the left side until the hands are down. So hands are in front of that right thigh. Then we're gonna drop the club head onto the floor outside the right foot and then drag the club through so you can get that feeling of that rotation of the body that drags the club into that impact position. And now we can release the hands and add a little bit extra speed into that club. Really good awareness drill and field drill for you um, to work on as uh, you're trying to improve that impact position. Do that, uh, say, five times and then just make a small backswing and see if you can replicate uh, the movement going through a couple of times and then go back to doing the drill and just gradually build that backswing up and that the force that you're moving through impact but still with that feeling in the feet, in the, the pelvis, and then into the chest to release the arms out, to deliver the club into that golf ball. It's another game-changing golf tip.